Hello. Good evening. Hope everyone's okay. So you join me on this five evening, fine evening, I should say, for a impromptu live stream. If I can get the comments up, just in case. Um, just want to check. I'm sure you guys can hear me. But what I'm doing today, as you can see in front of you right now, is I'm going to try and paint these six guys up within the, within the hour. I'll give it give it my best anyway. So contrast paints, okay, with Napoleonics. So I don't know what you guys are like, but I absolutely love them. Um, I find them pretty much irreplaceable for speed painting. So for great coats, these things are like the most awesome thing known to man. I just primed them with Grey Seer from J Games Workshop. I was about to say James Workshop then, but but yeah. Hi, Line Art. Hi, Evil Jim Reaper. Hope you guys are all good. But yeah, no, I find these uh, absolutely sweet as a nut. Uh, if you're wondering what colour I'm using, I am using Space Wolves Grey. But yeah, I've, literally, I started a battalion of these about two and a half hours ago, three hours ago. I thought, oh, be good to do a little, little video while I'm going. Just bear in mind, I am painting on camera, so it might look a bit weird. <laughs> I've literally got the camera where my head would be normally, so I'm having to look round the camera to paint. And I would, I would normally paint a little bit closer. So, yes. Don't worry about being super, super neat with these lighter colours, and I'll explain that in a minute. You just want to literally get this paint, this base layer on, okay? Just try and avoid the fleshy areas like the hands and the backpack and stuff. The good thing about the contrast paint, basically, is if you've got a lighter colour like this blue, easily, so like browns, reds, uh, blacks will go over it without having to uh, neaten it up. So I'm not too fussed about getting it on the rifle. I'm not too fussed about getting this blue anywhere else, to be honest. But it's uh, rather, rather nice. It feels so weird doing it like this as well. I've got to be honest. I will try and keep my eye on the comments as well, guys. So you're right, Grandma's Art Space. You're right, John. Great to have you here this evening. Right. So how I do this, I batch paint. So this is be this will still be drying. Making sure to remember to get around the collar there. So around the collar like that, and there's a little bit in there. Okay, that great goat's done. Someone's done. Going to probably do one more in this Space Wolves Grey, and I'm going to move along to a different colour. What's everyone up to then? Hobby wise, you listening to me while hobbying? But yeah, get this nice coat on. You can see the contrast paint just looks. It soaks in really nice. Martin does different techniques. So Martin sprays his guys grey and he dry brushes them because the contrast paints went out at the time. I've moved over to this technique completely now. I just think it, it just works really. So this is going to be the Voltagur company. So there's going to be a little bit more detail on here than there would be for just fusiliers. Especially on the shaker. As you can see, I'm just painting straight over the white where like the strappings would be and stuff like that. You'll see why in a bit. This model is going to be like 95% contrast paints. Is everyone all right with the camera angle? Is it okay? Not too, uh, not too blurry or anything. It's all good. Should we get around there? Uh, a little bit under there, I missed. I think. Yep. All right, that's that one done. So that's three down. 
change of color. So, so we go from Space Wolf Grey, and I'm going to go with Snake Bite Leather. Yeah, it's Citadel Primer, Tony. Um, it is the uh, Grey Seer. So, Snake Bite Leather now. got to be a little bit careful with these colors because these like i say these are the browns the blacks the reds you know they're very very dark so if you want to paint a lighter color over them it's a bit of a pain in the bum but i always start with the coats because once that's done quite a lot of it is completed Baron, you right, buddy? Uh, Wayne Broadhead, painting Marines with Russian uniform paint. And um, French Battalion, great coats, mix of light and browns. Very nice. I use bronze for black. Oh, nice. And Grant says, the last way. I learned something interesting today. As you know, I'm working on the Peninsula period. I enjoy that the uniforms of the later part of the war would really be totally different from Waterloo. How many would you normally batch paint? Uh, I do... So I've got the whole 24 primed ready to go, but I will do six at a time just because that works out company each because I do 24 figures. And six seems to be the right time for drying time, as you'll probably see in a minute when I get round to getting on to the next part. Okay. That one's looking pretty good. Yep, that one's done. Okay. A bit of an odd one out because there's a casualty figure here. So he's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna I'm gonna tackle him last. But I'm gonna go with Snake Bite Lever again with this cut with this coat. There's a mixture of Perry's and Warlord here. If you haven't tell, this is a Perry. Oh no, it's not what am I talking about? This is a Warlord. I'm being an absolute idiot. These aren't Perry and Warlord. My other my other company was. That's a Perry though, that casualty. I will try and keep up your comments, guys, alright? Very hard when you're trying to batch paint these. Especially when you've only got an hour. You're like trying to trying to smash through them. Basically, as far as I get with these, okay, it normally takes me just under an hour to do six, all right? So, obviously working with this different camera angle for me and using one of these, I don't normally use the thing, I just normally hold it. Um so I'm painting a little bit different than I normally would. Yeah, the uniforms and that for the peninsula and Waterloo and stuff like that. Yeah, they were they were a bit different, but it's like me and uh, for French, uh, I'll put like an eighteen twelve uniform, eighteen fifteen. I'll, I'll mix them all together. I really don't care. It doesn't bother me. It bothers some people, but I just think they they look cool. It's like my Italian shouldn't really ever be used when I play eighteen fifteen games, but they're my toys. And my opponent doesn't care, so that's always a helpful thing. 
All right, that's that one. Okay. Right. Just a hint. Always close the lid on the one that you finished with because you will uh, have some great deals of fun in there when you spill them. They're a bit of pain in the ass. All right, so this is Ultramarines Blue. Okay, and this guy's in battle dress, so... I will be painting the blue jacket as I normally would. Just try and get my reference here. And if you can't see the uniform, I don't paint it on these casualty figures. So if I can't see it, I don't bother. Just trying to work out here. Yeah, bit of blue in there. That's white, and the arm around the other side is blue there. Okay, right. So that's his jacket. Cool. Right, next. Okay, I'm going to do some trousers. So you can do these with white night this is going to be the 92nd uh second battalion and some information i've run a lot of them had like the brown trousers so i'm going to go in and stick a few brown trousers in the six instead of just keeping them all white and this is skeleton horde if you're wondering and again noticing again i'm not being overly neat with these just trying to get it where it would go all right, that guy's done. Pants. Uh, let's go with this guy. I might do two of these. Yeah, probably this one and that previous one. I'll do the different color pants. And the others I will do white. So they're done. Because I'm doing them, actually, I'll tell you what, casualty figure as well. It's because it looks pretty smart. I'll tell you what I did do today, uh, this afternoon, sorry, is I did spray up. Some medieval stuff. Uh, my riders for my cavalry at last. My English for the Hundred Years' War stuff. They're finally sprayed. So that's trousers there. Three trousers already done on the other ones because they're going to be white. So I'm not fussed about those. The grey turns out really nice. So next colour now is black. Okay, and they're all going to need some black on them. And that's going to be black Templar. Give that a good shake. Evening, Yorkshire. It's great to see you doing your own little channel now, buddy. I've subscribed. It's Granite Art Space said he said, Don't really think I would like painting, um, reading Nat's period, but it turns out that I'm enjoying it now as much as ECW. Yeah, I was the same. I never thought I'd get into naps, but I've gone a bit crazy. So this is Black Templar, if you're wondering. And this is going on the Shakos. Uh, it's going on the cartridge pouch at the back. And it's also going on the boots. And if they've got a scabbard, it goes with the scabbard. Best part about all this, guys, is the thing that pulls it all together is the very last step, like for the main painting, which is the wash. So I put a wash over all this. It's a mix of 50-50 strong tone um, and quick shade mixing medium if I've got it. But at the minute, I'm using the contrast mixing medium uh, and letting that dry and then just going over with uh, 
with a bit of white on the over the straps. That's the that's the bit, but the wash does it really. I can never remember what they're called, but you know the bits above above the boot. I'll remember the name of it in a minute. But they is it a gator? Is it? I think it's a gator. I never ever 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 paint them a different color than black. No matter any of my Napoleonics, I always paint them black because they're the same color as the boot, and I don't bother. I just find that step is such a faff, and you never really see the feet. You never really look at them. And it's just an extra step in my eyes, and I can't be bothered with it. So I just find it quicker to do it like that. Okay. Right, that's that one done. Whack. Prussians would survive with British and French Russian stocks and the land they use a large variety. Oh, okay. Decided to leave the Shakos, gave my land vote all caps. Yeah, I, do you know what? In my, in I've I've got Shakos in my whole of my French, apart from the Grenadiers that, you know, I put bearskins on when I can, but I haven't used any caps apart from this one today. I've put a couple of caps on. I think they date earlier period, but I've kind of done this this one as like a a mixed bag of like troops that are just a bit all over. I like just got scraps from everyone. All the sixes in the house, you right, bud? He's doing some War of the Roses. Very nice. You know what I'm like, though, guys. Nothing beats a bit of French, does it? kind of weird to be honest with you because you know i'm so used to you know painting these now in contrast uh, honestly i think i think they look quite good once they're all done um it's a weird one because i know some people say to yourself you know it's historical why are you painting them in contrast paints it doesn't work but i'll tell you what i'm gonna prove some people wrong with that because to get them on the table and get them ready to go you know this technique is very very good just to me it just saves time if you haven't got a lot of time and you want to, you know they're not the best looking guys don't get me wrong you know but the nice thing about this is everyone can get this right every if everyone follows this technique everyone's you know they turn out the way that i'm painting them now your ones will as well because the contrast paint's only so thick isn't it You know, you're not going to get extra thick contrast paint. It's going to be that that consistency. Okay, and you can see here I've got scabbard on this guy, so black again. Straight there. Cool. And Shaco. I've done this a little bit out of order. I normally do the musket second. I've completely forgot. I should have done that. But we'll do that after the black. If you notice, I'm trying not to do two paints that are right next to each other if I can help it as well. Cool. It's that one. It's like some uh, 40k tournaments, right? Warhammer. I know you've mentioned the dreaded Warhammer. 
you know, they have a free paint, different color paint minimum rule. So you qualify for it now. You'd be able to use these models in a Warhammer tournament. Tell you what, I learned something very cool actually today. As I live right by, I live in Hampshire, so I live right near a place called Cheriton. If you're an ECW fan, you probably know that the Battle of Cheriton happened in 1664. So, and I've walked around the battlefield and didn't even know about it, <laughs> which is even funnier. And quite a lot I've walked around that battlefield. I was talking about it today with the guys. I was like with Martin and uh, with Dom and Steve, and I was like, oh, I didn't even know. I just did a bit of research to think, oh, what ECW battles are near me? Because I'm not going to have a look around. Cool. Shake over there. Cool. Black. Next. So scabbard just here. Cartridge pouch. Uh, boots. So like I say, straight over both of them. I don't bother doing individual... This guy's already coming to life, really. It's when you do the flesh tone in a minute. Oh, yeah, there's loads. Loads of battlefields all over the country. It's not something every, everyone thinks about, to be honest, though, is it? Right. Black done. Last one with the black. You can see like the uniform that's near enough dry now. Doesn't take long to dry this stuff. By working batches of six, it seems to work pretty well. Because you feel like you're getting stuff done as well, which is nice. Because I used to do them in batches of 24. That was a bit painful, I'm not going to lie. Cheers, John. Nice to have an additional hangout during the week, he says. Yeah. Is always good. It gets everyone together as well. And obviously, if you know people can talk, people talk in the comments, you guys catch up. It's always a nice thing, isn't it? Do 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 do. So I'm just concentrating on this bit because I don't want to get the black somewhere. I don't want it. I've taken a bit too much out of the pot. Yeah, that'll do. That's fine. Okay, next colour. Okay, I'm going to go with... Yeah, let's do the flesh tones now quickly. So for this, I use Darko Flesh. So that brown is a Skeleton Horde, uh, Wayne. Very nice brown. 
But for the skin, I use uh, Darko Flesh. But then you can leave it, or once it's all dry and you do a next step, I go with a Barbarian Flesh Tone. All right, and you start to see now is when the figure starts coming to life. Because you paint the face. All right. Starting to look a bit human now. And again, don't worry about the hair. If you get over the hair, don't panic. So we're going to be going over it with like darker browns and blacks. Next one. Yorkshire Dragoon has asked a question, guys. He's asked, needs a standard poles for 28 mil bearers. What bearers? The cavalry, infantry. I gather infantry. Uh, the ones in the pack are too short and thick. Any recommendations? You can make your own, like like using wooden cocktail sticks. Gives you a natural wood effect already straight off the bat. So like shish kebab sticks. Just make sure when I do the faces that I get the ears covered as well. And I just make a mental note so I know there I've missed that bit of brown. So I know when I get that brown out again, because I will get it out in a minute. I need to top it up. Okay, right, is that done? Musket next, guys. So we're going to use Wildwood for this. If I can find it. Yeah, there it is. So musket. So again, straight up, straight back down over the metal working parts there, flip it over, got a little gap there, and obviously you want to make sure you get the stock. Okay, one done. How are we doing for time? We're halfway. I feel like we're on time. Hopefully. I'll find out in a bit, won't I? <laughs> Next one. So interesting fact, guys. I worked out how much I've actually got. 
left to do because it's all packed up now in nice little packs. Battalions, like a battalion in a bag. And I've got 16 French battalions to do, 24. And I have six cavalry uh, troops to do. And there are 12 each. So that's like the main forces. But then on top of that, I've got other bits and bobs. So I've got cannon. I've got about four cannon to do, maybe five cannon. And then obviously all your colonels and, you know, overall army commander, Napoleon himself, I've got that to do as well. But if I can knock them out this quick, then can't really moan. Right. Okay, so now if you want a little tip, while I've got this brown out, I'm just going to select two models here, and I'm just going to do their hair. So there's one. Check if he's got a mustache. Yeah, he has. Okay. Mustache done. Has he got some side partings? Side burns, yep, just there and just there. All right, hair done on that guy. Simple as that. And, yeah, there's one here, another guy. Brown. Brown. Around the back. A little bit there. A little bit there. All right, there's two lots of hair done as well. Okay, so next colour is Gore Grunt of Fur. Wherever I've stuck it. I know I've put these in some sort of order. There we go. Yeah, it is a bit of a nightmare to clean out that stuff. You do not want to be... Uh... Yeah, you do not want to be uh, going wrong with that. So, Gore Grunt of Fur. Nice and simple. All the backpacks. Just try and take it a bit easy over the top bit there. Okay. What I tend to do now is just have a quick look. So, like, I'm just going to go for a brown here, just randomly. Okay, these are never set a specific colour for me. I just do whatever I feel like at the time. So I won't do that one in brown. I'll leave that and I'll come back with a different colour for that in a minute. I'm obviously not going to paint the garlic brown either. Cool. That one. Casualty. Next one. Right, I will go for brown on there. Oh, I missed a musket. There you go. See, look. I shall do that in a second. How cheating of me missing a musket like that. Shouldn't have to race painting, Ken. No, you shouldn't. But when you want to get it done in an hour, because you really want the troop done. I'm just trying to show people it is possible to get these done. So if I had to do four of these, that's, you know, it's four hours and that's a battalion. Cool. Yep, I'm done. And what I'm going to do with this one 
as well. I got this color out. Make him a ginge. Can't have too many gingers, can you? Rana Pago is in the house. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong again. Martin does it right every time they get. We're watching Ken race painting here. <laughs> it's always a interesting one, isn't it? I'll bugger garlic. Oh, that's all right. Leave it. I'll go over with the white in a bit. Let's make him a ginger as well. Uh, no beard for this guy, but he's got a bit of part in there. Yeah, I could make it a 30 year old me. There you go. This could be me. And I'll give him the third pouch there. Right. Okay, guys. I'm getting close to finishing with the contrast paints now. I'm just going to go uh, with a couple of other paints. So I'm going to choose. Where is it? Agros Dunes now. Just because I haven't used it this time round, really, for the coats. So, Agros Dunes. Okay, for the bottle there. Again, Agros Dunes bottle here. I'm just checking to make sure I've done hair on these guys as well. So, this guy hasn't had any hair done. So Agros June, so he's gonna be like a blondie. Which always makes it interesting. Beard, there we go. Or casualty. Blonde there. Just making sure. Yeah, that one's done. That one's done. Okay. Right. And I believe I've got one bedroll on here. So just a random color for that. Uh, I will choose uh, Oh, I don't know. Let's go with Snake bite leather. Because why not? And actually, that's quite handy because while I got the snake bite leather out, if I remember rightly, there was the guy that needed a little bit of touch up work just there. There he is. Just in there and just there. Cool. Right, two colours now. Uh, we are going to be using Iden Yellow. Okay, this is for the plumes on top of the Shakos. So, for this battalion, this regiment, they use yellow for the bottom and then green on the top. So, that's a yellow. Yellow. It's gonna go with a yellow on this guy here with a fuser there, all right. That's why he's dead because he didn't have the plume. 
they ever shot him. He wasn't in correct dress. Yellow. Uh, we'll go yellow for this one as well. Oh, actually, what am I doing? He's a fuser there, isn't I? What an idiot. Is there blue for that? What a muppet. Is it Leviathan or did I use? No, I used Tesla blue for that. Blue. Same with this guy. Better go over this of blue. See what it looks, see what it does. Yeah, that's all right. Probably turn it into more of a green, but that'll do for a minute. And yellow. You all right, Ricky? Nice to have you here, mate. Cool beans. Next colour, green. Warp lightning. I will be going back over there, plumes, because I've I stuck a turquoisey green now. It's quite cool, actually. Never you never done that before. So the yellow and the blue makes a turquoise, like a really nice turquoise green. Very nice. Okay, just trying to be a bit careful here because the yellow is already still a bit wet. Right, green done. Green done. Green done. Do, do, do. And green done. Right. So just checking the soul patches. I've got one guy here. Uh, yeah, and one guy there. Mm. Okay. I'm going to go green just because he's in the Fusilier company here. I remember why now because I've run out of I've run out of figures, so I had to put one in. Green there. Green there. Right, I need to get back on the yellow. Now, what the hell did I do with the yellow? I'm a bit of a nightmare for this. I put the bloody thing down and then I can't find it. I had the yellow and now the yellow has disappeared. Uh... Okay. Oh, there it is. I'm being blind. Yellow. All right. Okay, next color. That's pretty much it for the contrast. So I'm just going to move on to doing the musket metallics now. So rifle, uh, the metal parts, nice and simple. I'm using gun metal from the Army Painter for this. And there's no faffing. It's literally. And the only reason I'm doing this is because you can't make a metallic look really good in the contrast. You could use the Basilica Grey, but it just doesn't, it just doesn't cut it really. It's all I do for my weapons. One line down there like that. That's it. So 
Simple as that. That's one. So what do you guys think then? Do you think this technique's quite cool? You know, if you're getting figures on the table quickly? making you think about trying it obviously this video will be going up on the channel after anyway so it'll be here as reference if anyone wants to do i late for French class gives me an apple <laughs> Cool, there's that. Uh, there's no silver on there. So next color is gold. Have I tried? No, because I haven't tried the British. No, I haven't. I have to admit. But if the red, if you know, red is red is red. So don't need to paint that. Uh, no. Bollocks to it. I'm going to paint that bit gold. You wouldn't probably normally have that gold, but I'm just doing it so it's a bit different to the other casualty figure. So gold. Uh, and also, what am I doing? Buttons. Do, 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 do. Well, I see it, otherwise, I'll forget. Just on the back here, metal. Da, da, da. Which blue did you use for the casualty coat? Uh, Ultramarine blue. If you want a darker coat, I'll show you quickly. Like the like for the old guard and that. It's the middle guard there. That's Leviathan blue. That is one coat with a dark tone wash. Sword. You have sword now. Done him next. No sword.
See what we got here. Yorkshire Dragoon. You just use an Ultramarine's glue on my blue Hessians, not use paint in blue. Oh, okay. Nick Games, but yes, contrast paint works great for speed painting units, quick gaming table standard. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Works but works very well. Okay. All right, so that's all the gold, guys. Final colour before you put a wash on is white. So I'm just going to take that bit of garlic out there. Still a bit on there. Apologies if I'm a little bit messy because I'm at a really weird angle. Cheers, Grandad. Appreciate it. Rough and ready, guys. Rough and ready. Okay, so my timing's not been that bad. I said I'd have it done within the hour, and we're coming up to the hour now, and it's just this white to finish it with a wash. So if I, if I wasn't on camera, I'd have it done within the hour. It's just the funny angles. And I'd normally paint a lot closer to my face as well. But if you notice, guys, I'm not really going anywhere near the trousers. There is a reason for this. Because I want that white to be different to the strap white. So when I put a wash on it, it will still look different once it's dry. So you've, still, you've got the option then if you want to go over with it and make it a bit brighter, you can. If you don't, you don't.
Two. Oh dear. What I'll do now, guys, is I'm not going to get those finished in the next four minutes. Okay. But what I shall do is I'll show you a, the six I did earlier. Okay. After they've had the wash, because that's probably about another mm, five to seven minutes work off camera, and then it's wash. But here is two battalions I did earlier. Okay. So this is the finished product. So this is what they look like when they're done. Okay. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't touched up the faces with the barbarian flesh tone. And I'm debating whether to do that right now anyway, because I think they look all right from a distance away. So that's them when they're done. Show you the back. Should be the other way around because the grenadiers are over this side. So yeah. Okay. So that's them. I will show you. So there's a Perry's. Again. Contrast again. Okay, it hasn't had a wash yet or anything like that. And I'm still in the middle of doing it. But that's a Perry's. Kit Bash Victrix one here. You can see I've chopped the standard off the top, use a different arm. And then we've got a kernel here from the uh, from the starter box. I'm still in the middle of doing now, but that battalion's pretty much done. I reckon I'll probably have that done with an extra half an hour's work. Yeah, the only, re the only reason I've put a casualty in, actually, is because I've run out of figures. So I've managed to make 24 man battalions and i've literally used all my figures up so i was about four short so i had to use casualty figures which luckily because i had a lot of french cavalry come with a load of cavalry i think i've got about 40 cavalry casualty figures now for the french but yeah guys um so like i say that that is uh that is how you paint them up contrast you know you get them done you can get them done nice and quickly and I think they look half decent as well. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, same with these middle guard, okay? I'll show these middle guard off a little bit more. So, again, these middle guard, pretty much the same, all in contrast. Um, I just noticed the middle guy's buttons I forgot to do. I'm going to have to do them because that's really going to annoy me. I'm going to have to do those right now. <laughs> But yeah, the middle guard again, contrast, the whole thing, uh, apart from the white, that was the and the and the metals. Or have I done it? Yeah, I might have done his button. You just can't see it from that angle. Yeah, I have done his button. That's right. Can you put a Perry one next to the Warlord? Oh yeah, no worries. These are Victrix, but I shall do that one right, right for you right now. So. That is a Perry. And oh, you want one with a Shaco, really, don't you? Give me a sec. So we can get one with a Shaco. Take this one off its base. Okay. So there's your Perry, there's your Warlord right there. The Warlord just looks a little bit thicker pick a head that's about it really and if you want to bring Victrix guys in okay they're about the same and then you got Warlord Victrix there The blue for the middle guard is, oops, sorry about that. Leviathan, I think that's Leviathan blue. One coat. Works perfect. So, yeah, guys. Have you got any more questions quickly before I close the stream off? Because I have to get off.
And like I say, remember, this is going to be on the channel anyway. Um, so, yeah. Looks quite cool, doesn't he? Yeah, looking forward to finishing this battalion off. I'll get this done probably tomorrow. Um, probably take me about an hour, and I'll probably start another battalion again if I can uh, if I can uh, bring myself to it. But I will show you one other thing quickly. I finished today, this afternoon actually. Did another did another ship, so happy with that. All right, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it. Sounding a bit different, wasn't it? Actually watching me speed paint. Sorry, I couldn't look at the comments so much, but you got, you know, you got to be 50-50 if you're trying to speed paint. But thanks very much for watching, guys. See you again soon. And keep an eye out this weekend because I'm, I'm doing a little painting video, which I've already filmed. I just need to do the overview for it. So how to paint one of these. So like your British uh, Royal Navy warships. All right. Take care. Bye-bye for now.